Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is belong to you who want to graduate in this year of 2021 or we call as a COVID pandemic batch. Today's video, I will talk more about a graduation makeup look tutorial. Why not to check it out? Before you move forward, don't forget to subscribe and like and ring the bell. Before we start this tutorial, I want to remind you that don't ever use any good dresses during your makeup because it might splash over your shirt or over your dresses. So to avoid those things, just use tank top. The key to look good on screen is skincare. So don't ever skip the skincare. And second is the base. Maybe some of you don't know what is the base of the makeup. My base of the makeup is primer. So this time I'm using primer from Maybelline. And how to apply it is just open and then put small amount on your hand and then start applying it at your big pores. Like in here, in the cheeks nose in the area that you need to cover your forehead and then maybe in here no need to apply over your face just because you don't need it so moving from primer i will use foundation from benefit hello happy shade number three again i will use my mixing palette and then put some amount over it and then I will tap it with my beauty blender over my face. Again, don't ever swipe but tap. The reason why because you, if you want to cover it impurities like I have pimples, so I just need to tap. see it's covered right maybe some of you also asking like um, do I need to wear foundation over my neck and then I would say like it depends on what dresses that you are wearing so if it's shown your neck then you can uh, cover your neck with the foundation but if it's not then you don't need so at this time uh, I think I will not uh, cover my neck as my dress is not showing my neck as well so yeah I will skip it how to choose the right color of the foundation so basically for me I will test it over my cheek small amount and then if the color is matched with my neck and then I would buy it but if the color is one tone up or one tone down from my cheek and then from my neck and then I will not purchase it because we want to look like you know the skin is uh, the same tone so finish with the foundation and then we move to the concealer so for this time I will use Maybelline H Rewind as my concealer again I will put it in the front at the inner corner and at the outer corner same things you just need to tap it don't swipe using the same concealer then you can cover all the imperfection that cannot be covered by the foundation you can cover it with the concealer Maybe you guys also asking like why Ruth always using her finger rather than using beauty blender to apply a concealer. Why? Because I'm thinking like um, my fingers is more useful rather than this one. And then it's more smaller so I can, you know, touch it and then feel like mm, it's already covered, something like that. <laughs> Once you are done with the concealer and then we will move to the very very important thing. It is a contour. As you know that I have a very very special nose, it's very tall in the opposite meaning. Anyway, I will just use this contour from Mineral Botanica. Then again, using my finger, this time I will use my pointing finger and then put it like this and like this. And how to apply it, it just like, you know, this and this and then put it like this and hey, ding. blend it the 
the key of contouring nodes is to make your nose more a bit smaller but taller so it would not make your nose look bigger because I have a bigger nose <laughs> okay after that you can also apply this concealer again in the bridge of your nose I will put it like on my tip of the nose and half bridge like this and then what to do is to blend again with my finger the clean finger one yeah Now we're moving to the next step is the cream blush again. I will come with the Nude Stick Cream Blush. You know, tap small amount and then tap it here. Then we will set all the makeup with the setting powder. This time, again, I will use Marc Jacob. If you could see that I always use this one because yeah this product is very very nice because it can turn my oily skin into made skin without any crack so yeah I just so in love with this one you can check it through online in Sephora or yeah you can browse it anywhere or you can go to the outlets and then find it there the difference is real right so this one is still like you know shiny and this one is more in made One more step after we lock the makeup with the setting powder is to lock it again with the press powder. So this time I'm using Floor Mar shade number 7. Again with my sponge and then just need to tap and lock it like this. Now we are done with the powder and then we will make it sit for a while and then we will move to the eyes first. So I will make my eyebrow. As we're done with the eyebrow, now we are moving to the eyeshadow. I will use BH Cosmetics from Charlie Bieber uh, palette, very colorful shades. I will use a brownie color. So I'll use this color for the whole lids and then these two colors at the end of the lids and this one and this one too. Using the brush, I will tap this color and then take off the excess and start put on the lids. Okay, move forward, I will use this color a bit darker and then put it at the lower lids and then now move again with this a bit more darker to the outer corner of the eyes after that we are going to use the glittery one but now I will not use this brush I will only use my finger again so small amount and then put it at the middle Okay, we are done with the eyeshadow so let me make the other side we are done with the eyeshadow so now we are moving into the eyeliner so this time I will use eyeliner from Maybelline and I will do the same trick as I love you know um, wing eyeliner and then I will make a wing eyeliner too create the wing first and then drag it into the front If you guys were asking me like why I love an eyeliner because I want to make my eye look like you know like a cat eye and then still look young and fresh and let's just move to the other side done with eyeliner and then we're moving to the mascara so now I will use again Maybelline Hyper Curl mascara one trick to use a mascara after you open and then you don't put in out and out but just you know Take off all the excess into the bottle like this and I will start with the down first and then I will bring it up so it would be like this first and after that I will do this okay 
now we are finished with the mascara and we will move back again into the face so we are start applying a blush on i'm gonna use blush on from maybelline fit me shade nude peach it's the same technique that i apply with the cream blush you just need to tap but with this powder uh, blush on i need to tap all the excess and then just bring it to the top We're moving to the bronzer. I'm using bronzer from LA Girl in the Glam Palette. How to apply it? Just put like in your cheekbone and then track it to the front. Now we're gonna move to the highlighter, so I'm using this palette and then use this color using my finger and then start applying I also use this highlighter into this forehead and into this chin and with my finger again and we'll put it here and also a bit here So now the final step, Woo! we're gonna move to the lip. So I'm using Warda Color Lip, this shade, um, shade number one, and then put it on my lips. Okay, I use this color because I want just to look natural as I promised at the first video and then now I'll move to the lip gloss from Mineral Botanica. And then this is it. This is my final look for my e-graduation. So let me change my shirt first and then get ready for the e-graduation. And then this is it. This is my final look for the e-graduation. I hope you guys like this video. For those who are having a e-graduation, happy graduation and then don't forget to have this look for your e-graduation. If you like this video, please like, subscribe and comment below on what should I make on the next video. And then don't forget to request what should I make. Please, I'll see you soon. Bye bye.